Valley Club. There's actually 285 characters in Marvel Strike Force as of this recording. And if we're being totally honest, most of those characters are total trash. They give you very little value at the end game. So in this video, we're going to make it easy for you. We're going to rank the best of the best. We're going to reveal the 10 best characters in Marvel Strike Force so that you know who to build or who to work on unlocking and you can leave the rest in the trash can. So you're ready to see who makes a cut, who gets left behind, then Valley Club, you know what to do. Find that like button and let's go smash it. And welcome you and your lovely self back to the Valley of Flying channel. I am Valley of Flying. Hope you're having an amazing day. In this video, we're going to talk about the best characters in all of Marvel Strike Force, the 10 best, but we're actually eliminating a few of the top characters in the game just to expand this list, give you a little more value. But before we get to this countdown, time to mention the sponsor of this video. You've probably been gaming for a while and earned tons and tons of rewards for your gameplay. And while all those digital rewards are great, now your efforts can earn some real physical rewards from the sponsor of this video, the new turn-based squad RPG, 8th Era. It's the first game to combine epic gaming with real world swag. Eighth Era features a huge roster of unlockable heroes and challenging strategic combat. You can explore forgotten worlds, combat mythical monsters, and compete with other players from around the world for some real world collectibles like this. You know, it feels so much better to grind for something physical like this rather than some in-game digital resource. And you have tons of opportunities to earn these physical collectibles with special events and seasonal leaderboards. And if you're in Canada, you can start building your roster right now. It's available for free on iOS and Android. And if you're not in Canada, make sure you follow 8th Era on social media or sign up for the newsletter on 8thera.nicegang.com so you'll be one of the first to know when 8th Era is available worldwide. So guys, if you want to get some real physical rewards for your gameplay efforts make sure you check out eighth era if you're in canada you can play it right now and if you're not in canada it's gonna be available very very soon but let's go into the game and start this list with four characters that are so good they're not gonna be on this list because you already know they're good you're already either building them or have them uh you don't need me to tell you that they're good and these are our grand prizes of dark dimension slash the apocalypse saga Apocalypse, Super Scroll, Mephisto, the grand prize of 2022 in Apocalypse, the grand prize of 2023 in Super Scroll, and the grand prize of this year, 2024 in Mephisto. They are very good characters. You need a lot of things to unlock them, but as soon as you unlock them, the game will be a little different for you. Uh, last character that I'm not including on this list, fourth character, Old Man Logan, and the reason for that is, again, you know he's good. You felt his presence in Arena or seen his presence in Arena if you're watching some of the YouTube videos, same thing with War Crucible. Old Man Logan is a dominant character, but unfortunately, there's nothing you can really do towards building this character right now. His legendary event just ended, which means it's coming back in a few months. And at that point, you can start to get more shards for Old Man Logan, more stars, more red stars and build up this character. But as of me recording this, no way to really build up Old Man Logan, and you're already probably working towards Apocalypse Scroll and Mephisto, so they're not going to be on this list. Let's move forward to the first character that is on this list, and Spider Weaver, one of the Marvel Strike Force original characters. Very, very good tune, and was very good in Tangled Web based in Cosmic Crucible bonuses for a while. They kind of fell off, but kind of had a resurgence since Noir moved off to the Spider Society. Spider uh, Weaver and 2099 have kind of gotten uh, placed back in Cosmic Crucible. What her kit is all based on is this passive. While this character is charged, lower the accuracy for 100% for all enemies. When an enemy misses that, you're going to lose a charge. So, yeah, unless the uh, attack is unavoidable, unblockable, or they have something in their kit that gives them 100% accuracy in addition to that accuracy that they're losing with this, then, uh, yeah, you're going to miss your attack. Now, this ultimate is what you're normally opening with her. Stun, trauma, but more importantly, gaining charges here. In Crucible, gaining five charges, gaining three charges outside of that. And if you go and and try to attack Weaver with a non-unblockable attack, well, or a non-unavoidable attack, excuse me. Well, you're just gonna miss. So Weaver, very, very good character. As a standalone character, very good. And in a few different hybrid teams, Tangled Eternals or a few others works very, very well. Next character on this list is the big grand prize for 2021. Yes, the reward for Dark Dimension 5 in Dormammu. Very, very good character. An older character was in the meta about four years ago and kind of returned to the meta with the resurgence or with the emergence of Old Man Logan. Yeah, and having that revive once, if this character is healthy at the start of the match, not a clone, allies gain revive once at 40% of 
this dude. Their character's max health, so very, very good. Gives that big revive once. Also has a nice stun on this special that you're using in opening turn. And then clearing all the effects from self, clearing heal blocks from allies. Heal self and allies are 40% of this character's max health, putting a bunch of negative effects on the enemies as well. So all of these moves are very good. His basic is a AoE attack. So that is that is a very strong move as well. So if you have not already beaten Dark Dimension 5, get in there, get your Dormammu unlock. He does have some value in the meta right now. Next character on this list is Quicksilver. Very, very good character. Now building up Quicksilver can be a little scary because while he's a good character now, we know that eventually he's gonna suffer the fate that Silver Surfer did of being a very good standalone character. But once his stats kind of get a little outdated, not keeping up with the current meta, Quicksilver's value is gonna drop. Now one of the good things that Quicksilver does is that once he drops below 50% health for the first time, well, he's can summon a Scarlet Witch. So a lot of the great choices for Quicksilver is pairing him with a Death Sea team. Some of these older defensive rooms for Cosmic Crucible or War, but also he has a lot of offensive value, takes a lot of turns, which may not be good for Crucible offense because it is based on efficiency. But if you're just trying to win and smash your opponents, well, very, very strong special, very strong ultimate, and he takes a lot of turns. So you're getting a lot of these basics off quicksilver is one of the best characters in the game right now but eventually his stats won't keep up so yes he's good now but build him with caution another character is very good right now but i'm not sure how long she's gonna be in the meta is black cat she is involved in arena meta sort of right now but was an arena meta character for a long time kind of got pushed out of the meta with the arrival of old man logan apocalypse is back there super scrolls back there black cat is there now it's kind of just a matter of who rotates in that fifth spot sometimes it's black cat sometimes it's dormammu sometimes it's other characters but black cat gives you a lot of benefit in Cosmic Crucible, War, but also in Arena. Our passive is very strong, offers you a lot. One of the main things they're gonna do in relation to some of the counters on spawn, clear revive once from all enemies, gaining a thousand percent extra focus for this action. This is great for countering Dormammu's, not just in Arena, but also in Cosmic Crucible or War, clearing that revive once off of all the enemies and her empowered Passive ability is very good as well. Stops that death proof. So if you're facing enemy black cats, enemies cannot spawn with death proofs. Lower damage reduction for all enemies that do not have death proof by 15%. She has a stun on her opening move. She copies and clears positive effects from the enemy. So she has a very, very strong kit and is still one of the better characters in the game. Nightcrawler is next on this list and he's in an interesting spot. You need him for the raids as part of the extreme X-Men team. So this is kind of a required character and kind of fell out of the arena meta with the emergence of Old Man Logan, but still very, very good for Crucible, very good for War. At this point, more of a defensive character in both of those game modes, but yeah, he does a lot of great things, and I think he's a great character to bring into Dark Dimension as well, one of the better global characters to bring into Dark Dimension. His opening move is a special, lots of damage, stun, bleed, expose, rebound chain. This is a strong opening move, three turn cooldown as well, so most of the time you're doing this multiple times per match. This ultimate is is devastating though big AO attack 500% piercing clearing positive effects slow vulnerables this is debilitating if this goes off this is why you want to make sure that you have night the enemy nightcrawler controlled and hopefully they don't have your nightcrawler controlled as well very very good character in the game another excellent character is green goblin classic and like nightcrawler like quicksilver was involved in arena meta before old man logan arrived but kind of fell off of arena since old man logan arrived and we have a new season in cosmic crucible which means that the superior six are not as strong on offense or defense so green goblin classic did lose a little bit of value but is still one of the better characters in the game this ultimate that he does big AO attack 75 percent damage against an enemy with safeguard flipping positive effects and then you're gonna repeat this a few times as well two additional times does a lot have that trauma on there reduces turn meter clears barrier on this special as well and is a very very strong character one of the best things that he does when he is charged you cannot ability block any of the sinister six allies so very very uh strong passive and a lot of times i forget about that i'm like why are 
turn to the ability blocking, yeah, it is this. So yes, he adds a lot of value, not just to the superior six, but also the rest of the sinister six. Very good in Cosmic Crucible, very good in War. And moving on to this list, Void Knight is also very good in Crucible, also very good in War, but still involved in the arena meta as that fifth spot. Yeah, Void Knight can be very, very tricky. And if for some reason you cannot ability block him, you can't remove that taunt from Black Knight, well, he could go off and destroy your team. Very, very good character, and I think a lot of it comes from his ultimate. Pulling enemies within two spaces of the primary target, attacking the primary target, flipping three positive effects, and ability blocking the primary target in the raids, you're ability blocking all targets. He's a strong, strong character. This is a great special as well, stealing up to one ability energy from the primary target, and in the raids, stealing three ability energy from the primary targets. Void Knight is a strong character. Build him. You're not going to regret building this character up. And you have no regrets building up Kang as well. Very, very dominant in Cosmic Crucible. Dominant in War. Okay in Arena. Did fall off with the rest of these characters since the emergence of Old Man Logan. But still has this passive here that is going to be involved in the meta for a while. On spawn and offense, fill speed bot by 5% for self and all allies. That is why you're going to win mirror matches when you include Kang because he's going to give you a, get you a little faster than your enemies. He has this big, big, strong uh, ultimate, clearing all barrier, clearing death proof, defense down to all enemies, and then 300% piercing AOE attack, clearing positive effects as well. Very, very strong move. He has a barrier clearer on his special as well, applying slows, and he has a strong basic where you get a bunch of extra hits. Kang, one of the best characters in the game, Build him, you're not gonna get building up Kang. And Robbie Reyes is a beast everywhere he's at. Still involved in Arena, still involved in the Cosmic Crucible, still involved in War, and if you need some backup teams for the Mystic sections, well, Robbie Reyes is great in there for the raids, but you probably don't wanna use him there. You wanna probably use the Bifrost, but yeah, very, very good character. He's all based on these bleeds. He gets a little extra turn meter every time there's a bleeds attack, any time a bleed is applied to an enemy, Fill speed by, by 10%. So he gets a lot of turns. He's going to be very, very fast. He has an ability block on his special as well, using it as his opening move, applying a lot more bleeds, a lot more damage on his ultimate as well. So not just giving damage to the enemies, also giving himself some speed for all those bleeds. That devastating character and surprisingly has not fallen out of the meta. Not in an arena, not in Cosmic Crucible, not in the raids, and is still one of the best choices for the city section of whatever dark dimension you're trying to tackle. And coming in at the top of the list is Black Knight. Yeah, still one of the best characters in the game. Is the best, in my opinion, non-mythic, non-legendary character in the game. So if you exclude Apocalypse, Mephisto, Super Scroll, Old Man Logan, maybe a few other of these legendary characters, Black Knight is alone at the top, even with more counters added to the game, like Old Man Logan, like Void Knight, like Big Time Spider-Man. Yeah, Black Knight is still in a class of its own because of what he does with these charges on spawn gaining five charges and what these charges will do anytime an enemy attacks this character or any ally this character is charged does not have exhausted it's going to clear barrier on that enemy attack that enemy 30 percent of this character's max health so his attacks are based around his max health so if you're maxing out this character max out his health first if uh, you're equipping certain pieces of gear uh, enemies killed by the attack cannot be revived. You're gonna clear immunity on the enemy, high heal block, trauma, three bleeds to the enemy, lose a charge. This attack is unavoidable, cannot be blocked. Always gaining his extra focus and an arena when his character has charge. Speed bar cannot be reduced. His uh, health is even more. This is just a very strong character. Uh, characters killed by this ultimate attack cannot be revived, which is very, very good, again, especially against some characters that like to revive. And his special, you could use that on turn one, has an ability block, clearing negative against himself, all allies, very, very strong move. Very, very strong character. There probably will be more and more counters to Black Knight emerging in Marvel Strike Force, but as of me recording this, I think he's still top character in the game. Well, let me know who your top non-mythic, non-legendary character is in Marvel Strike Force, and I hope you have a great day. Hope you got some value from this video and help you determine which characters to build, which characters to avoid. And if you did get some value, leave it a like. It is free for you. Tremendously helps out the channel. And if you want to see what are the best characters to farm right now in Marvel Strike Force, check out the video. Up there and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Hulk fist bump valley flying out.